Hello, so today I would like to bring you along in my decluttering journey. So I've been decluttering again and I want to show you what I have been decluttering in a specific category and that is the sustainable zero waste kind of category and I noticed that it was a little bit difficult for me to let go of these products because I have bought them with a good intention and the intention was that they would reduce the waste and that they would be sustainable. So lately I have been changing some things in my home and I try to replace things with sustainable products and zero waste items. But unfortunately not everything that I have replaced worked out very well. And there is not really a point in holding on to items that don't work for me. So I've decided to let them go as well. And today I want to show you what I've been decluttering. So to make things a bit easier for myself, I tried these toothpaste tablets instead of the baking powder and salt. But I myself noticed that when I was chewing on them, I automatically would kind of try to eat it like it was a peppermint or something like that. And I don't think that is very healthy. It was also not really a very pleasant experience for me. I don't really like the chewing on tablets and then have to brush my teeth with it. So this is not uh, my kind of method. And I'm just going to stick with the, with the purifying salt and the baking soda. Later I also found out that there was fluoride in it and I don't really like to use it so I'm getting rid of it. I have decided that I'm not going to use the last couple of tablets because of the fluoride so it is what it is and I just have to let it go and pay more attention the next time. Sometimes, especially when we're busy, we try to make our lives easier. So we're going to try some things out that have this premises of making our lives easier. But what I found out is that that's not always the case. And sometimes by introducing some new things in our homes and lives, I just make it a bit more complicated. And this was the case here as well, but that's how it is. So because I was doing some research on the best dental care, and how to do that holistically. I also bought this thumb cleaner and I was specifically looking for something that was packaged zero waste and that was made out of a sustainable material. And I also really love the look of it and everything. I think it looks very nice in the bathroom. But unfortunately, there's just it's not really very firm and it does not do much. And um, I noticed that I really disliked using it and before this I used to have some plastic tongue cleaners and those worked really well. So I'm going to search for something that looks like the plastic ones but that is made out of a bit more of a sustainable material. Yeah, so I didn't know beforehand that this would not work so I've tried it out unfortunately it's not really a thing for me so I just have to let it go because I'm not using it. Then in this little box I keep all of my kind of taking care of myself products like nail clippers and scissors and things like that. I used to have this scissor and it was actually perfect, it was doing very well and everything but it is not sharp anymore and I cannot use it and I also don't know how to sharpen it myself. I will do some research to see if that will be possible in the future but for now these are kind of used up and I have replaced them with a new pair and I already mentioned this and this was a soap holder and I really love the look of it and the fact that it is made out of wood or bamboo. But unfortunately it's very difficult to clean in between and the soap sticks to it and everything. So in the future when I would have to buy a new one, I would go for a solid one. I think out of ceramic or something like that. Just because that is probably easier to clean. And also in this home right now I have soap holders already attached to the wall so there's no need for this. Then I got this lovely present and it is a comb for my hair and I really wanted a wooden one. Unfortunately this one is not really working well on my hair and I think I need them to be a little bit more narrow, a bit more finer. 
and also I would prefer if it would have like if it would be a bit longer with a sharp end to it to uh, make my hair go into certain parts that would be practical as well. I have not used this one that often so I'm going to see if I can make someone happy with it. And lastly this book. This is a vegan keto book and it's not really zero waste but it is in the kind of healthy category and I really wanted to eat more vegan keto but yeah I, the recipes were not really something that I would make and because it was a lot of soy and things like that and also a lot of nightshades and vegetables that contain lectins and I just I have it for a couple of months now and I just made a couple of recipes and I noticed that I was never looking into it anymore so I'm going to donate it to the thrift store and maybe it will make someone else happy and I wanted to add two more things that I forgot and one of those was a zero waste kind of way to get rid of hairs on the legs and things like that but it was a bit too painful for me so I got rid of that one too and I thought let's try something new some fancy zero waste device to clean ears but it was just cold and unpleasant and I know for sure that I'm not going to use this one so have to let it go as well Sometimes the zero waste things are advertised very well and it appears so good and everything but then it just isn't as good as it seems or supposed to be and yeah, well, that's just a shame but I just wanted to show you what didn't work for me. Yeah, so decluttering things can be a bit challenging especially if you have bought or got new things and especially if those things were meant to be sustainable. But even then, it doesn't mean necessarily that it's going to work out well. And so I'm just showing some of the things that, for me personally, didn't work out quite well. And maybe that can help you or in your journey to let go of things. So yeah, I hope that it helped you and thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it all so much and I hope to see you next time again.